Sensei, Sensei. Sensei. I guess this boat will leave you. Uh, we're late. We're late. It's hot, it's hot. Nothing better on a hot day than one of these. My <laughs> Little rocks. Rock. To Ita Parica. It's the largest island in All Saints Bay. <laughs> Hold up. We skipped a huge section of this story. Let's back that thing up so we can uh, put you guys up on how we got to where we are. All right, the good news is we made it, y'all. Welcome to another whimsical adventure with the Yarbrough. Thanks to you, our subscribers, we found out about these islands in the Atlantic off the coast of Salvador. And this morning we decided it was adventure time. That was a rush. All right, so we didn't really know the times. We just knew they left every hour today. Uh, it being the ferry. And uh, we got down here as quick as we could. As soon as we got here, the boat is pulling off, so. Mm -hmm. But um, we're here, we're happy to be here. I guess we should tell you guys where we're going. <laughs> Yes. We are underway. Where are we going to? We're going to an island, man. We thought we'd take you guys on a different little tour today. There's so much to do in Salvador, but there's also a whole lot to do around Salvador. We're gonna show you some of that, just a little piece, just a little sliver of the day. So we're gonna head to an island, have some lunch, show you guys around, and show you one of the many uh, different islands that are around this place. Okay, so we're really excited to be checking out this island. We are currently traversing the Bay of All Saints and this bay is said to have maybe 56 or so islands. We're heading to the biggest one, so we're really excited. This is our first island adventure, so we're taking you guys with us and we'll be sharing the history of this island once we hit it. I'll give y'all a little advice. If you come this way and you want to get the ferry over to one of these islands, get here early. <laughs> I mean, you can, right, to get the most optimal seat. The ferry has a few different levels, and each level has some chairs. And then there's a main area, the main gallery, that has like a whole bunch of chairs, but it's kind of dark there. It's full of people. And it's metal on a hot yeah. day, so it's an oven. Yeah, so then there's a space outside here on the deck and a small little sliver up front, so we're just kind of hanging out in this space. Pretty tranquil, man. The ride over, you get a good view of Salvador, get a good appreciation for that shoreline. They got plenty of beach in Salvador. They do. Man. I mean, Brazil in general. Yeah, yeah. But it's beautiful. Uh, just come prepared to chill. It's about an hour ride to the one that we're going to. It's <laughs> going be 20 minutes in here. So we thought we'd show you guys what the inside of this vessel looks like. It is still hotter than Hades up in this mug, but once this boat gets moving, there's a small cross breeze on the interior. But most importantly, you got some kind of shade from this intense sunshine. But this is the seating area. Uh, this is where you're gonna see families hanging out, people congregating. I see a brother standing up there with a fan. I hope he plugs it in. It's hot. It's hot. Like we really shouldn't, we really shouldn't be sweating this much, and we haven't even touched the island yet. It's hot. We were ready for adventure. The ferry landed at Terminal Marichimo Bom Despacho. We caught a cab for 50 reais or $10 to take us to the very edge of this chill island. 20 minutes later, and we were soaking up sun, sand, and caipirinhas at Praia do Porto. Where'd you find Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you don't already know, my name is April. My name is Rondell. And we are the Yarbro. Y'all, we have spent, I don't know, the last two months or so in Brazil checking it out, um, most recently in Salvador, and we've had the opportunity to check out a nearby island called Itaparica. Now, this place is full of islands in uh, All, All Saints, Saints Bay. Bay, and I gotta say, this is the first oh, island we came God. to. Hey, hey, 
first first uh, island we've come to, and it's the largest island, but it's gorgeous. It's I mean, peaceful. It's beautiful. You know what like the island vibes are like, and it's it's like that. The part of the town seems like really colonial in some of the architecture, but. It's surrounded by this boardwalk right here, the water, little restaurants that are serving up the the hits, okay? Because there are we'll sing-alongs. We'll talk. But also some of the best caperinhas we've ever tasted. Look. You absolutely cannot leave Brazil without trying their national drink. So you know we ordered some. I got one, Rondel has one. It's the caperinha. And it's real good. I think this is probably the best one I've had in Brazil. There is nothing better on a hot day than one of these mother suckers. On the beach, I just need to have my feet in the water drinking it, but it's way too sunny out there. <laughs> Look, you just need to know, Brazilians are professional beach goers. They know how to hang out here all day long without getting baked, uh, in both senses of the word, and just chill, man. It's a really relaxed environment. I don't want to go nowhere. I don't want to get up. I don't want to do nothing but chill and sit. So we just ordered like two Stellas, some fries, and some sort of fish, fried fish, but it just seems like the perfect things to enjoy the weather, to enjoy the holiday, because it is Good Friday. It's Easter weekend, right? So everyone's uh, just out here enjoying time with their family, and we have the right snacks for our trip. Hey, so this is kind of a fried fish, cold beer, lounging kind of day, and we're gonna do what the day calls for up in this house, all right? So, well, the brews are here, some fish is coming, some papas are coming. Uh, we're just gonna lounge and talk to you guys uh, in between songs. <laughs> Brazil, baby, you gotta love it. Wanted to show you guys something different. This place has so many different things to offer. People complain about the crime, well, you guess what? This is a very low crime little island, you know what I'm saying? So, to escape the city, to get some sun rays, to get some tranquil vibes in your life, take a one hour ferry ride for $1.50, I believe, to some maximum relaxation. I just want to testify to something. Uh, you look at Brazil and, and it, it gets noted for a lot of different things and a lot of that stuff is nothing but propaganda. Um, I don't know what the marketing campaign is, like it's all butt cheeks and violence or whatever, mm. uh, but this place is so much more. Definitely. It's beautiful. And the, the assets, the resource is the people. For sure. I got a bone to pick. I watched the Anthony Bourdain special. Mm -hmm. I watched uh, a couple yeah, of different videos. And all they showed was like a whole bunch of people. Gyrating in booties. Yeah, right. It's yeah. some big ass booties here. Yes, and they got them on display. But it's because there's a different approach to, to the human body here. You see a lot of big people just like, hey, letting it all hang ain't no big deal. It's, bo it's a body positive, body positive area. For sure. In other words, it ain't no area of condemnation. So mm -hmm. like we see that and we automatically think sex. Nah, man, there ain't a whole bunch of babies running around here. They just like, nah, I want to look good. But there's a whole other section of people like, nah, I just want to be. So, um, I think we, we appreciate that uh, and, and how that kind of manifests through the people and what we see. So I think it's cool. People are body positive cool. here and Real I love talk. it. This is a place that you can come where there are beautiful people and if you ain't uh, all, ain't got that eight pack working, you know what I'm saying? You ain't do your push ups uh, uh, today or for the last two years. <laughs> it's all right, ain't nobody judging you, man. It's, it's a no judgment zone, man. This is the planet fitness of the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm for real though, for real. I, I am so, so real with that, man. It really pissed me off when I saw that special uh, that my man did um, because okay. all he showed was ass. And in Salvador, like Rio, Absolutely, sexuality is advertised. Um, not so much in Sao Paulo, and not so sure. much here. You go to the beaches, you're gonna catch an eye fool if you want to. You go to the gym, you're gonna catch an eye fool, but it's not on like, ah, oh, look at me. No, it's on more like, I'm enjoying myself. I hope you're enjoying your life. True. I just wanted to say that. Oh, my shio. My shio, Barra do Itariri, aí vem Mangue Seco. Okay, okay. It's very good. Mangue Seco. Mangue Seco. Okay, okay. <laughs> Little rocks. Rocks. This video was powered by Wonder Share Filmora. 
Wondershare Filmora is an easy to use video editing software with powerful functions. Any and everyone can start with Filmora with zero editing skills. This software package is designed for all levels of the game. There are tons of built-in templates, such as text overlays and filters to help you edit video quickly. It's also more budget friendly when compared to other editing softwares. I have a philosophy where I like to own what I work with and you have an opportunity to own your slice of Wondershare Filmora or you can pay for a monthly subscription. This software package comes packed with all types of professional features such as the New Blue and Boris special effects. They have all kinds of effects out there like mass draw and speed ramping, all of which will help your project look extra professional with a minimal amount of effort. Some of the features great for beginners are the AI portrait, the smart cutout, and the audio stretch. For all of you aspiring video editors out there or video editors who want to try something different, go ahead and give Wondershare Filmora a try. They have a free trial for you to check out. I said free. You will have a watermark on there. But for those of you that are interested, I want to also invite you to Wondershare Filmora's live stream happening soon. There are a lot of different things to do on this island. This is the largest island here. Now, as we understand it, it's like 56 or 91. I don't know. If you're from the area, please let us know. I think it's 56 that are inhabited and 91 in total. Either way, it's a uh, uh, Muito Tranquilo. It's a nice little vibe, nice place to be. As we understand it, if you're that guy, if you're that historian and you want to know some things, hey, obrigado, bro. <laughs> um, if you want to check out the forts, such as this one, they are here to be had. This is the historic central. There are lots of things to see, but it's the beach, the playa. I'm just talking about restaurants, beer, cerveza, liquor, uh, ladies in bikinis, men jumping around and diving in the ocean, kids having a good time. It's just like a place to max out and relax, honestly. It's just a, a chill little place to be. But if you want to get the history, you can. Us, we just like to chill. Ciao, ciao. I am from Florida. Florida, Florida Michigan. Michigan, same, 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 same. Are you from here? Yes, yeah, yeah, Salvador. Salvador? Yes, yeah, so Michigan is the, the, best, the best park of the Disney. Yeah, yeah. same, 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 same. What should we eat in Salvador? Camida is Salvador. Salvador, uh, acarajé. Acarajé. Yeah. Muqueca. Muqueca. Muqueca é, deixa eu ver, Salvador, é, peixe frito. Oh, peixe frito. É, é, fish, fish, in, fish fried, sim, sim, sim. Fish fries. And, yeah, yeah. But delicioso? All right. Do you have a favorite restaurant there? É, 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 sushi japonês. Ooh. É, em, em Marina, Bahia Marina. Bahia Marina? É, very good. The, this floor, it's a, 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 a mirror. Oh, it's, it's a mirror floor? floor? Uh, mirror glass, glass. Reflective, see, 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 see. You can see through? Yeah, they're very good. Yeah. I will go, I will go. Uh, this way. Oh, We're going to do a video. We're going to one, two, three, hey! <laughs> Perfecto. Thank That's you. It. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's our new friends, y'all. We exchange Instagrams, we look, we official. <laughs> One of the greatest assets of Brazil is the people. The people for sure, you know, 100%, no doubt. That's really how you get to dive into a place and it's through the people in Brazil that we've really gotten to know more about the culture. We just met a couple um, who's as sweet as they can be, man. Yeah. I hate to say it like that, but this really, really, really Good people put us up on some different places that we need to check out here. They're just out here vacationing out in this beautiful island mm -hmm. and enjoying the peace. And they let us know some other areas where we can enjoy the peace. You know, that's actually like a hot tip. Hot tip! If you want to know where to go, what to do, you know, skip Google, skip Wikipedia and Talk Pinterest and YouTube and all that stuff. I mean, get your information, but once you get in the place, ask the locals. And don't be intimidated. A lot of times you feel like, oh, I don't know the language, so and so and so and so and so and so. Start a conversation. Look in your phone, find out how to say hi, hello, abrigado. 
thank you. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Que pasa? I don't even know what whatever okay. is here. Um, <laughs> learn how to say hello. Uh, Bonjour. Learn whatever the slang of hello is. And just the conversation will open from there, honestly. It's a peaceful day. Really enjoying the vibe. Yeah. Where you at? I mean, I'm vibing too. It's just really relaxing, really tranquil. I want to hug up on my wife, but it's too hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's good. We have some good cap. Caparinas. I always want to call it Caparinas. Caparinas are delicious. The people are cool. Um, and it's just tranquil vibes, y'all. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us on another mad adventure with the Air Bros. Yes, especially as we checked out this island, the island of Itaparica. Look, lots of fun in the sun. Uh, if you guys know of any other islands or destinations we need to check out that are, that are close to Salvador, get at us in the comments. Let us know. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace and love, y'all.